Hi, I'm Elke Valovirta, and on this one I'm gonna check out Rev G3 and G4 pedals. I'm gonna try these out in three instances. In front of a clean amp, kind of like your standard overdrive distortion pedal, then to the return of the effect loop, which means that it goes directly to the power amp, and then into a cab simulator. So three different instances. All right, let's check these out. All right, so now the pedals go into the low input of a Marshall JSM ARI 2203 uh, Zach Wild. It sounds like this. You know, it's a clean tone. So the, the signal chain is guitar, then into the, these, these pedals, then into the Marshall, then into Sand Rock's React IR reactive load. Now I'm using the reactive load portion with my signature IR Valo Virtuals from Jens Bugren's Lead and Clean Pack. Check out the link in the description below. It's my affiliate link and if you use it, you'll get a small discount and I'll get a small commission. Everybody wins. The reason I'm not using the cab, which I've been using lately, because like I said in the beginning, I'll try these in front of an amp, then into an effect loop, which may, makes it directly to the power amp, and then with a cab simulator. And I'm going to use the, that IR, the same IR on all you know, these different instances. Okay, so let, let's check out, because I have a Friedman and SD1 here. The Friedman I, I've been using you know, many, many years as part of my live rig. Not anymore, but especially when I played in Shining, we used a rental backline, usually two amps, 800s, 2000s, and I dialed a clean sound because we had a lot of really crystal clean passages. On the albums, though, those were done with acoustics, so I needed to have a completely clean sound with a flick of a switch, not like I usually do, that I just, you know, step off the SD and roll down the volume bus because there, there was like completely clean and then it needs to be really distorted and then completely clean. So that's why I used the Freeman and it, it worked, you know, really well in front of a clean, a clean amp into a effect loop of an amp and with a cabinet similar like I used in Shira, what I, what I do nowadays. Nowadays, instead of this, I use the Blue Guitars and one Iridium, which is a fantastic analog amp. But okay, let's see. I'm kind of my basic, you know, stuff here. So, clean sound. Friedman. It's a kind of like martial tone. And then if I check that out with two screamer, let's do the gain a bit. Back a bit. This is how I usually use it. The gain like barely open and that makes it kind of like... Lose its own, and then like with JJ and Henry, and then it's really tight, kind of metal tone. Okay, so that was the Friedman, then Rev G3. So, it's not like preamp pedals. So, what did we have there? Bass, middle, treble, volume, 
uh, two different aggression modes, blue and red, and the aggression off and gain. Okay. Okay, so it's from the get go, it's a lot darker. Let's see what we can do. Okay, uh, the Friedman is a lot more open and to me more amp-like. This is a little bit muffled, like there was a blanket in front. Okay, that doesn't really help. Okay, the, the treble frequency, I don't really like that, because you know, these are volume controls for certain frequencies, so this is from really harsh. When it's down, it's too dark, and when it, when it's when I turn it up, it's almost like a presence control. Okay, with the mid, I can soften it a bit. Let's try the blue. Okay, well, the Rev3 at least in front of a clean amp, not for me, little too, it's like very distant, it doesn't have the bite and the tone of a, you know, real amp, which I guess these are trying to simulate. Okay, so in front of a Rev3, in front of a clean amp, not for me, I don't like where the treble frequencies are and... Yeah, the the basic tone of the pedal, it's, it's not for me, but I guess many people like this. It's kind of, yeah, not for me. Okay, and the, and the blue, it made it a bit more aggressive, and the red even more aggressive. Okay, let, then let's check out the Rev G4. Friedman off. Okay, this sounds a lot better from the get-go. It, it's more more present. Yeah, and the treble frequency. You hear, I turn it up, but it didn't get like compared to this. But <laughs> still, I mean. <laughs> The Friedman is just... This is really fat. Hmm, the red? Okay, this is actually these these are these are I, I like. It's a different than Friedman. You know, this is pretty much a hardware in Marshall. This is a more modern, but it still feels natural and good to me. It sounds too. The Friedman is still it's so open, like a real real amp. Let's try the boost, the red, 
aggression off. Let's take the let's start boost that with SD. <laughs> Doesn't really. Da, da, da. So with you know, Friedman with SD. Yeah, it just works. Okay. Conclusion into a clean amp. This doesn't really work that well. The the red one, the G4, pretty well, but they they sound a bit dark and the reason most likely is because the Friedman yes it's a preamp pedal but it's also designed as a as a overdrive distortion pedal to work in front of a clean amp. I guess these two you could use but at least this you know short tryout they don't really work and the reason is because these are, I think these are like real, real preamps. So what we have now is preamp going into a preamp. So two preamps in a row, which usually makes this really dark and, and strange sound. So that's why I think the revs, when I move them to the return of the effect loop, so that they go directly to the power amp, I, I think they will work. A lot better. So I will do that and then let's see. All right now the cable goes to the return of the effect loop and the master is the same at four and as you can see none of the controls now don't do anything except presence. Let me put it over drive on. Presence is the only thing that, that works. Okay, and the preamp it doesn't do anything. All right, let's start again with, with the Friedman. As you see, now when it's going into the power amp, there's no other preamp, preamp EQ, I need to crank the, the highs quite a lot more and, uh, you know, reduce the, the bass. You know, free money, because it's kind of like hydrated Marshall, it has a kong kong kong, kind of Actually, kind of like hot or plexi, it has that, that certain plexi type of sound, but with lots more gain. Friedman. Let's check out the revs. Yeah, again, a lot more treble. Now the treble actually works a lot better than in front. So, depending what amp you put these pedals, it, it, it makes a whole whole difference. So now this actually works a lot better than the treble. Yeah, yeah, like I suspected that these are 
more like real preamps and not so much overdrive distortion, which you would put in front of the amp, but into the effect loop, a whole nother ballgame. <laughs> feeling it it's totally different w very inspiring yeah yeah definitely okay that red blue is just a little less aggressive off it's a little bit meh but uh I don't feel these even need uh, any tiring, any SD in front, but let's just check it out. Nah, it doesn't really. It's a bit, bit it overloads this this a bit. Okay, yeah, works. Okay, G4. like the G3 more into the effect loop. It's more, this is, I guess, more fatter and more, but this is a little bit more mean. Let's put it on the red. Yeah, it's like really kind of open.
I don't have any noise gate now, so well, you know it's it's okay. This is actually the G4 Squire. Gain full. Man, it's really quiet, okay? This is more old school, more noisier. I like it. Now Friedman is pretty quiet too. The G3 actually, in the effect loop, I prefer the G3. In front of the amp, I prefer the Friedman. But G3. in a nice way. All right, conclusion. Freeman works, yeah, I'm very familiar with that. The Rev G3, great, works really well, really aggressive, open. The G4, more low end, it's more silent, it's, it's, it's more, more modern, but uh, G3 is a winner in the, in the effect loop. And these two, they don't need SD1. It didn't really, it's, you know, the way these overdrives work, they, they boost the signal into something, in this case these pedals, and uh, SD has a certain boost, which works really well into Friedman and into Marshall amps, you know, already overdriven and many other things, but it doesn't always, always work. Maybe some other overdrive will, will do the trick with these if you would want to use, but uh, I'm not gonna try now because I, I think these work really well without anything. Okay, then Let's check this out with uh, just with a cap simulator. All right, now the cable from the board is going directly into my audio interface, and the cap sim is the Morris Cab X2, and I have loaded the Valo Virtus IR there. I'm using it on as mono, so only the the left output is being used. It sounds like this. <laughs> Cool. Then let's try the Friedman first. As you can hear, it's still a bit dark, even though I have almost treble and presence cranked, because you know now it's it's only the the cab. I don't remember if the, if there was a kind of like power amp simulation on this one. Probably there was, which you could dial. But for this purpose, now it's just the cab, just the input response, the valve work, just the cab. So there's pretty much like no power amp simulation. Okay. Then the Rev G3. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, these really work well with the, either into the power amp or then just directly into a cabin iron. And now the, the treble really, which I found it was way too harsh in front of an amp, so into an amp preamp, but now it, it really, really works. <laughs> Yeah, really well, really well. Yes, it, it re feels re really like real and Okay, then the G4. Okay, now the treble crank, but it's still dark. Now the free in man sounds really mud muddy because there's no power ramp. So clearly the free in man works better into a clean amp, kind of like an overdrive or distortion pedal, and it works well also into a effect loop return, so directly into a power ramp. Without the power ramp sim, just a cab sim, it's a little bit, bit uh Bit hollow, at least with, with the, these cabex too. But I think this is this is pretty cool. And you know, I have the the my signature I revolver, over just a little bit high and high and low cut there. Let's take the high cut off completely. <laughs> Friedman sounds a little boxy in this instance, but the and the G3. Thank <laughs> you.
conclusion. The repels didn't really work that well in front of a clean amp because there was kind of two preamps in a row. Friedman, which is kind of hybrid between a basic overdrive distortion pedal and preamp, worked the best in, in front of a clean amp. And that's how, how I, I use it a lot. Then into an effect loop, I think the revs, especially the, I like the G3, that's just a matter of personal preferences, work really well. I mean, the Friedman did the job, worked really well, well too. But now, by just using a cab sim, so there's no power amp or power amp emulation. I think, I don't remember now, but I think you can have a power amp emulation here, but I didn't use that. It's just a cab because I wanted to see how this, this sound. Friedman don't really work. The revs work really well, especially I like the Rev G3. It has this open, nasty bite. This is really fast and probably would work better with maybe single calls or really bright guitars. But uh, I could easily do a show with the G3 in front of this Cab X2. Like, no problems. Sounded great. Even probably re record something, like, for real. So, Rev. Thanks for sending me these, and I must say, especially thanks to you, you Rev, because I, I did a video about the D20 amp, and I didn't like it at all. I, I think it was just like very uninspiring to me. And Rev contacted me that, hey, we really appreciate your honesty. You know, would, would you like to try something different? I was like, sure. And then they sent me these. It, it's been a while. I haven't had a time to check this out, but I'm glad I did. I like the Rev G3 a lot. Hey, hopefully you found this interesting and informative. Thanks for watching. Until next time, take care. Bye.